My name is Angel Rodriguez. I'm an instructor at Baylor College of Medicine, Lester and Susan with a Breast Care Center um, from Houston, Texas. So the, the, con the concept of uh, cancer stem cells uh, is not a new concept. It's uh, been here for a while, actually. 2008 marks the 150th anniversary of uh, Rudolf Virchow's uh, series of lectures given here at Berlin, where he proposed his theory, Omnicellular Cellular, which is cell stem from a cell. And it's been only in the recent years, five or six years, in which uh, research has been found that there is a rare subpopulation of cells within tumors, approximately 10% of cells, which when transplanted at a low amount uh, can form tumors in immunocompromised mice. Uh, these cells uh, also um, have the ca capacity to self-renew, and uh, that uh, is the hallmark of the uh, cancer stem cell hypothesis. So we completed enrollment of 45 patients of HER2 positive uh, women with uh, locally advanced breast cancer, uh, may have uh, metastatic disease, and uh, we, the patients were, and it was a phase two open label non-randomized clinical trial in which they received uh, 1,500 milligrams of lepatinib orally daily for six weeks. They had biopsies done in the outpatient setting every two weeks. Um, which we used to analyze the effects of treatment on cancer stem cells. Uh, after six weeks of lepanib, they then completed uh, 12 weeks of standard uh, treatment, which is trastuzumab with docetaxel for 12 weeks. So uh, in the research, we found a very exciting uh, uh, information. Uh, previously, we had shown that chemotherapy, uh, when given in the preoperative uh, uh, state to women, uh, there was an increase in uh, stem cell stem cells, and there was an increase in self renewal and an increase in uh, memosphere formation. Uh, uh, however, in our study with lapatinib, we saw the opposite. We saw that uh, lapatinib decreased the number of uh, uh, tumorigenic cancer cells, uh, and also it decreased the formation of mammospheres, which are basically uh, clusters of cells uh, that grow in suspension, and it analyzes the capacity of these cells to self-renew. In terms of clinical response, our tumors measure, the tumors of these patients measured around 10 centimeters, uh, and we saw a median decrease in size of at least 50 percent um, when uh, defined as the product of bidimensional uh, tumor measurement. Uh, in terms of uh, pathological, re pathological response, uh, almost two-thirds of our patients achieved a pathological or near-pathological near complete response in the 27 evaluable surgical patients. So this is very exciting news that uh, because it is the first to show that uh, cancer stem cells are being targeted by treatment and are a potential uh, source of target for cancer treatment, uh, in a way it, it poses more questions than answers. Number one, should we be targeting these cancer stem cells? Uh, should we focus? Uh, uh, sh uh, should we target the genes uh, that are important in the self renewal of these stem cells? And that is where we're heading. We are uh, currently uh, doing treatment that target these cancer stem cells.